hello and welcome back to Stardew Valley. And apparently we are sitting on a million gold. For some reason, not sure. I thought I actually spent a lot of the money, but uh, apparently not. Ginger Island. Hmm? Is it called Fern Island? Whatever. Anyway, let's check the weather. The weather report is going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Festival of Ice. Okay. Okay. Uh, between 9am and 2pm in the forest. I think I will, will avoid that. I think. I'm not sure. We'll see. And a special forecast for the Fern Islands. Uh, Fern Islands region is going to be that it rain all day tomorrow. Okay. Fortune teller. Spirits feel neutral. Nice. And the Queen of Sauce. Poppy seed muffin. I don't think we have that. Oh. And we learned how to make it. Make it. Uh, okay. Poppy seed muffin. And what it requires is poppy, a poppy flower, wheat flour, no, po not poppy flour, and wheat flour, and sugar. Okay. Uh, let's go down here just to take a peek. Nothing is on going at the moment. I think that's because I am making more of them, though I did use up all of my hardwood. Found this in a drawer somewhere. Thought you could use it. Pam. I have way too many of them, so... Mm. And Mayor Lewis is saying that tomorrow we're all, we are all gathering in front of Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. It's a celebration of winter. There will be snowmen, ice sculptures, and an ice fishing competition. Arrive between 9am and 2pm if you'd like to participate. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure. Um, like many of these events are not going to be any different. The second year? Uh, no, 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 no. This one as well. And... I'm not sure... How much time I want to spend on that. Because... It will... Basically, if you attend... Use up the whole day. That was all of that. So we have more coffee. And more ancient fruit. Uh, now let's take care of all the animals. Because, yeah, why not? We need to. Uh, at this point, we could actually just ignore them if we wanted to. But... They do... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like... Uh, we should at least take care of them. And... Uh, it's a good habit to get into to actually every single day go and take care of them if you're doing animals like you might actually decide that nope I'm not doing animals and there is actually a benefit of not doing animals and that is the fact that it will make it so that you have a lot of time more time during the day so you will have a lot more time 
left over or doing stuff. And it might be that that's better for you. Uh, oh, okay, we actually missed rearming these. Okay. Um, what is this? That's a mahogany seed. Um, hmm. Okay, so one, two, three, that's nine. Oh, okay, interesting. What you, oh, what you could do with the, uh, with the mahogany trees is actually plant a few of them like say three or four keep them separated enough from each other that they can drop because there will be uh, times where they spawn seeds like they they drop seeds uh, where you can find them. Oh, there's uh, a seed growing. It happens with the other trees as well. Right. That way you can actually have a, a, a seed farm for the mahogany seeds going at forever. So you will always have seeds dropping. Oh, okay. Okay, good to know because I actually suspected that the mahogany tree didn't function in the same way as a normal tree because it would be a bit too OP to be able to farm seeds in that way, but apparently I was wrong. Apparently, you can get seeds in the normal way as you would otherwise get them. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Cool. So, uh, let's do some amaranth. That's... We need 68. Uh, that is 52. Which means that we need 16 more. Uh, so that's if we move two of these over to here, we have 18, 50, then 10 over to the 50, 60, and then eight left, 68. Yep, yeah, that should be all of them. I might have a, a, a weird way of counting, but for me, it's a lot easier to break it apart in that, in the way I did in my head. That way I don't actually need to bring out a calculator to make, make it comprehensible for myself. I can actually count because it's really tedious to bring out the calculator every single every single time you want to count something. Breaking it apart into easier sections to count with is um, at least in my mind preferable. Um, we have, huh, maybe we should do melon, maybe we should do star fruit, let's see, we have 40, 60, 
So if we take that, we have 60, so we need eight or more. Let's do some star fruits. Star fruits, star fruits are so good for you. It is the best thing you can find. At least when you want to earn a lot of money. In Stardew Valley. I think actually uh, Starfruit is the most profitable one. I think. I'm not sure, but I think that's the case. Uh, oh, maybe I should shove... Maybe I should remember to put away... The ancient fruits that I actually harvested. Uh, might be a good idea. Now... Put the mahogany seed in here as well. And... And we should have some more coffee going. I feel like that's a good idea. There we go. Take all of this and uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. sell all of that as well, like this. And what do we do next? What do we do next? I am not sure. Maybe what we do now is we technically don't need to go to the gypsy anymore. And we don't need to visit Krobus either. So, hmm. Huh. Yeah, maybe we should go to Robin. And see if we can buy a bunch of stone. How much stone do we have? Right now, we have almost 3,000. Hmm. Maybe we should go and buy something like 5,000 stone. Hmm. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Yeah, I think I, I, I think I will. I think I will. Before, I need to check. Oh, Leia has. Okay. So what we will do is. Uh. I think I need to go this way. And I will see if I can find Leia and give her some gifts and, and stuff. Yeah, please move. Thank you. And... Yeah, we, like 5,000 stone is going to be expensive. It is going to drain on our economy, but, well, we, we have the money, so who cares? Uh, one second. Uh, construct farm buildings. Is there any building here we want to make? Fish pond. Yeah. Stable, I don't need um 
and the horse is a bit annoying to use because he can't actually go through everywhere so yeah you can't take the horse everywhere uh the slime hutch is a very 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 tedious thing to use a big shed that doubles the size that might be interesting huh but yeah i think house renovations all right that's just redecorating the inside and then want to build Pama house that would be a good like if i have the money i think i actually will do this once i have done like spent all the money i think i want to and i have like five hundred thousand, and i think i will do that uh, if i see i can do it and i have nothing else i want to spend money on that is probably probably something i will do now for now we need um, a lot of stone And while we sit and hold right click, so it maybe it's fast if we mm, uh, it's slightly faster. Okay, we can hold on. That goes a lot quicker. Okay, so if you press shift and right click, uh, you go as fast as possible. Yeah. The faster than this is not possible to go, I think. So hold shift and then hold right click at the same time. And you buy five stone or whatever it is you're buying um, continuously. So that's two stacks, that's 2,000. Then we need... Two more stacks. Because now we have 3,000. Four thousand. Maybe I go all the way to six thousand. Uh, maybe I will. yeah let's do that yeah let's let's um bring it all the way and here we go one two three four five six so one two three four five six and now we have exactly six thousand stone we used 600,000 gold on that. That's a lot. However, with the time we have left of the day, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... actually go to the town and see if we can find Leia somewhere and once we have done that I will I will um go and put away the stone and we'll go and put it put it away because i don't want to lose it 
and what we are going to do then is to you're not in here right nope uh, we are going to go to the mines with whatever time we have left over of the day and basically yeah get a bit of extra stuff do you ever take a whole day off mm, probably not this is a really nice gift thank you you are welcome now how high are you um -da 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 -da. it is probably a gift and some talking left until it is all the way up probably Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Now, what do you have? Baked fish. Don't care. Summer spangle. Don't care. Mackerel. Nothing really that exciting. And I think what we should do now is go and put everything away and see how we fill. If we can fill the rest of the day with some some kind of useful thing to do and then i would probably say that one two three four five six seven eight that's eight thousand and we need we do need a bit more than that. Uh, thankfully, it's not going to take up too much of our inventory, which is nice. But it's still going to take up some of our inventory. So we should be able to make some staircases preemptively so we don't have to, in case we find ourselves in a really bad position, uh, we can actually, once we have a bit of time, have them, we can have four, basically four staircases on us at any given time when we do go for the Skull Cavern. And I think the next day of the episode the second day of the episode is going to be like we're going to see if we can blitz our way down as quickly as possible and let's go down And, yeah, I am not sure how lucky we are going to be when we, because a, a lot of the, like, dungeon crawl, like, crawling is due to luck. A lot of it is based on what your luck is. And uh, we might be really lucky with finding ways down and not having to spend massive amounts of stone just to go down. But we could also, like, also uh, find ourselves in a position where, oh, we needed to use all of it and we're not there yet. So, we'll see. There is 
no way of telling exactly how it's going to go. And we do need to bring some food that is at least decent. There's no stone that way, so let's go down. Come on, pick it up. Thank you. And what is the time? It is nine. Okay. We do have a bit of time left, uh, but I think I'm going to leave a bit earlier so we have time to look into what kind of food we want to bring. Um, because I do think we need some food as a just-in-case kind of thing. Just in case we needed that food. It will be very good if we have it. nice if we could get a little bit more. There are no big stones here. Let's go down. getting late so I need to look into ending this run soon it's not really any big stones here so oh that's a big stone I need to go and get that that will be very useful, but we do need to... There we go. So, and the bus stop. And we are fairly slow. But we should be fine. With not needing to drink a co uh, like coffee to speed up. We shouldn't need it, technically. And let's see. Let's toss that away. Uh, almost 200... Um, stone added which is quite nice so now we have let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine thousand and if we remove nine from that we land at 66 so we have nine thousand and sixty six stone I think that's going to be good enough. I, I think. I am not sure. But, yeah, as I said, I think. I think, I think it is going to be good enough. Now. What do we have in here? We have snails. Uh, we have the pepper poppers. 
and we have a spicy eel. I think I might just take the pepper poppers and the spicy eel and some mushrooms. And that's it. I think that is all I will take. Because... Hmm. Maybe I should do something that has defense. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Nah, I, I think actually just taking the pepper poppers and the spicy eel is going to be sufficient enough. So let's take that, put it way over there. Uh, let's go out and take... Some mushy rooms. Uh, let's take uh, half of them. So a measly 121. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do we n not need? We will not be needing the watering can. We will do not need the copper pan. We don't need a red the fishing rod or the scythe. We do need the sword, the pickaxe. And technically that's it in terms of tools. Because I don't want to hoe anything. There are nothing to chop with an axe. Hmm. But that is going to be the next day. So, uh, let's see. Have I missed anything? I have the stone. And I technically don't have all the stone. However, I think it's going to be good enough that I don't need to farm stone anymore. Because I would be surprised if I don't find at least some easy ways easy ways down during my way down so I don't have to use a staircase every single time uh, however let's sleep and we earned 34,000 gold as we are slowly getting back above half a million again so i think we are not going to have any issues at all to build pama house if we want to build pama house could be a nice thing to do uh, however let's just start day eight so we are now as i said on day eight and I think today, once we have done all the stuff we need to do, is to go to the Skull Cavern and trying to reach level 100. Now, if a disclaimer here, if I don't re reach it, I'm not going to try again. Uh, weather report. It's going to snow tomorrow and Fern Island region. Uh, beautiful sunny day. Okay. Fortune teller. And the spirits are in good humor today. Okay. So we have a bit of extra luck. It's a positive luck day. That's good. Living off the land. Just whatever. Something over here has happened.
part of the glass is shattered. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Might have missed that, but uh, who knows? Um, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You will feel energized. See you soon, Emily. A salad. Okay. So, let's see what we can do with the, the short time we have until Pam. We can't go to the desert immediately. Even if we wanted to, we can't do that because Pam takes a bit of time to get to the um, to the bus so we can't actually go go there immediately which is too bad but uh, uh, it's what it is yeah this is probably one of the best th ways to farm mahogany seeds having the trees growing and then just pick everything like pick up the seeds I think picking up the seeds from already growing trees is the easiest way of getting the seeds. So, yeah. And most likely the quickest way as well. And the more trees you have, the higher, like the quicker you get get them so yeah i think um having i think having five mahogany trees just to get a bunch of a bunch of um <sighs> a bunch of uh, seeds is the quickest way of getting that like getting the the trees growing instead of slowly slowly farming the the other place uh, which is the secret woods here Instead of farming that and hoping for a seed, actually planting and not harvesting the tree so it, that tree can produce, I, I think, actually think it is the quickest way. Yeah, uh, I think that is the quickest way, which... Yeah, um... Not sure what to say, but uh, it's a good thing that you can sort of farm for it and actually get a bunch of uh, the seeds because, yeah, depending on what you do uh, with the hardwood, the hardwood can disappear quite quickly. Uh, now, we have done all of the usual stuff we need to do. Uh, I will check this place. There is absolutely nothing to do in here. Good. Good to know before we leave. We have the food. We have the coffee. We just need all the stone and then I'll leave one stone behind and then let's do this. Now I will 
put away all the stuff I don't need. I don't need the, that. I don't need that. One coffee can stay in there. Such. And one thing I will bring is cherry bombs and bombs. Because I suspect I will need them. I suspect I will need them. So, what I will do is... Make some staircases. And I think I will start off with the spicy eel as the first thing. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. I uh, hope we can actually get this going as quickly as possible. Let's drink some coffee. And once we get in, I will here eat this. Down, down, down we go. And yeah, this is the absolute quickest way of doing this. It, it is by far the quickest way of doing it. cowboy hat not sure why I got that but okay uh, a lot of annoying uh, flaws I have to say Omni Geodes. Five of them. Not a bad haul, but um, not really s super useful. But uh, oh, we can actually stack them. That's something you couldn't do before. So, okay. Good to know. Easy way that we easy ways down. No, okay. There is one over here, so I will take it. I am actually quite quick, so down. That's a nasty floor. No, please. No ghosts, please. Uh, let's blow up and see if we get a way down. 
We actually got a hole. Let's use that. Jump in. 15 levels. Oh. Oh, we're at level 50 now. Let's pick this because it's really close. Uh, same with this one. And down we go. Uh, let's go on this as well. Getting Iridium as we go. Oh, a prismatic shard as well. I have taken some HP damage. See if we can heal up a bit. Taking some damage, which isn't super good. Let's go down. Uh, and down. And down. And down. <laughs> uh, fight this because it was not much here, so. Um, didn't want to fight those, so we will not do that. If you can avoid fighting when doing this, that is preferred. But oh my god, we have found a lot of good stuff here. Don't want to go through there. We're down to 62 now. We still have a lot of time left, so we should be able to do it. And we still have a lot of uh, stone left over. No, not going to do that floor. Sort of bullshit to go through that, so I'm not going to. Yeah, and here you can see why you want to get this deep, because we have 34 Iridium ore, and we haven't even picked up all of it uh, along the way. We just picked the easy ones, technically. There will be a bat, but it didn't arrive, which is good. Go down, go down, go down, uh, go down. Use that since it's so close. bat oh we took a lot of damage we can't we need to eat yikes that could have gone bad badly for us uh more stairs we are at level 75 uh, I'm not going to go further because there's a bat over there 
This is fine. Let's do this one there. like we don't have there we go we are on 85 let's go down quickly oh my god this is so tedious Ninety-two. Almost there. Da, 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 da. We are almost there, please. Ninety-three. Soon. that uh, hole we found that jumped got us 15 levels down that was very nice to get need to get a bit more hp get stuck too much. Uh, let's head down. And down. And down. A seed maker. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Whatever. Level 100. Well, 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 you made it. Come closer. Now don't be shy. I heard you were attempting a deep dive into these caverns today. I had to see for myself. Impressive. Very impressive. Making it all the way down here is quite a feat. Although you did skip a bunch of levels by crafting staircases. Clever, sure, but not very honorable. <laughs> Even so, it must have been a lot of work to mine all that stone. And that sort of dedication is praiseworthy. You're a rare one, kid. Now, go over to the table and drink the special milk I've prepared for you. It's called Iridium Snake Milk. One healthy swig of that and you'll become even more powerful. The taste is awful and the texture is even worse. But your health is permanently increased by 25. Good luck out there, kid. Okay, so... Our HP got increased by 25? That actually... Quite... Good, I have to say. Now, we could... Go even deeper. I'm not sure I want to. Or need, or like, feel the need to do something like that. Maybe we should just grab a bit of iridium. Uh, we have a hundred at the moment, so...
I think it might be a good idea to do. Let's go down here. I can't be bothered with going all the way. And blowing up iridium. Uh, and I think... Uh, making a staircase... Here's the easier option. What do we get? Crystallarium. Okay. And if one crystallarium wasn't good enough, here's a second one. I don't think you can craft them. No, you can, but they're expensive. Okay, you can craft them, but they're expensive. I think there is a pile of iridium over here, so let's take that. Um, that was a dragon thing. Let's jump in. Eight levels. Took a bit of damage. Not too bad. Um, however, I will now leave because we're on level 112. The Skull Cavern doesn't have, as far as I know, a bottom. It is infinite, as far as I know. Like, as much as I know, it is infinite. But we have reached level 100, and a bit beyond. And I don't feel like there is any need to do much more. So let's just return home at this point. But I did reach my goal which was level 100. And uh, I have to say, I was ready for that to be there. We did get a few things, which was actually quite nice. We got six prismatic shards. Six. And 129 iridium ore. That alone is why you want to have stone so you can go down quickly because iridium doesn't actually start appearing until you reach 30 ish and the further down you go the more common it it gets so yeah you you really want to go as deep as possible before you start to uh, mining yeah or or try to spend time mining and having the stone to skip a floor uh, is also very important because some floors are just uh really annoying to deal with so yeah um there are flaws that you just flat out want to skip because it's annoying. Um, or there's way too many enemies so you don't want to deal with it. That kind of stuff happens quite a lot. And uh, yeah. There we go. I think that was how it was before. If it wasn't like that, I don't care. It's good enough. We have a few things we need to take care of. Take care of. Which is all of this. Uh, 
And we need to go and check. I don't think there's any, anything already down here, but you never know. So just a quick peek. And it doesn't look there's, like there's anything over here that's going to need our attention. We have two trees growing at the moment. Uh, that still hasn't grown, should I say. It's, um, that are still growing. And tomorrow we probably will need to go and pick up stuff in the greenhouse. Uh, let's take this. And... There we go. And I think with that, we will turn in early for today. Uh, so, yeah, let's do that. Let's turn in early. One of few episodes I go to bed in the game before 12 p.m. hits, uh, or 12 a.m. midnight, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, we didn't earn a lot of money, but some of it rolled in. But we managed, I managed to actually reach level 100. We actually went a bit further than that. But, uh, whatever. We got a lot of stuff from there. We actually, it was actually, I, I knew there was something with Mr. Key uh, a lot further down into the Skull Cavern, but exactly what it was, I didn't know. I had seen patch notes or so, I, can't, I can't remember exactly what it was but I did know there was something with Mr. Key and the Skull Caverns when you got to a certain level but I exactly that it was level 100 and what what was going to happen I didn't know so but yeah that, that, that's a really good thing like a permanent boost to HP Mm, so good, because HP is something that doesn't increase. <laughs> Just like that. Um, so that that's actually a really nice thing. And, and just a remark that, oh yeah, and you used a bunch of stairs, which isn't honorable. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. But it, it's not easy to get to level 100 without the stairs there's way too many too many factors that relies on luck if you don't use the staircases so i would advise if you want to really push your way down and get to level 100 use the staircases because it is the easiest way of doing it now, it might be very expensive to get all the stone, or take a long time to get all the stone, but nonetheless, it, it is the easiest way of going da down into the Skull Cavern. Uh, so, with that, I think we are going to sign off here. But before we do, remember to like the video. Uh, the video did get a bit longer than I anticipated, but that is how it is, sadly. Um, the Skull Cavern took actually longer than I thought it would. So, yeah, that's the thing. And anything I'm missing? I don't think so. It's going to have to wait until next episode if that's the case. So, for now, thanks for watching. Goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.